Good evening. I'll call the meeting of the City Council of the City of Lenore to order for Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021. We thank you for being with us this evening. Uh, as normally, we do have people here in the council chambers, and we have people that are with us on virtual uh, a call. So I'm going to call at this point, before we get started, I'm going to call the roll, make sure we know who is with us. We'll start out with those here in the room with us, and I'll start with Council Member Jonathan Beal is here. Council Member Ike Perkins is here. Mayor Joe Gibbons is here. Uh, Council Member Ben Willis is here. And Council Member David Stevens is here in the room. Also, City Manager Scott Hildebrand is with us. And our Communications Director Joshua Harris is here. And our Chief of Police, Brent Phelps, is with us this evening. So thank you for being here. We have some other guests with us that will be speaking tonight, and we'll introduce them in a few minutes. Go ahead now down the uh, those on our Zoom call with us. Uh, Mayor Pro Tem Chrissy Thomas. I'm here. Thank you. Council Member Todd Perdue. I'm here. Thank you, sir. Council Member Ralph Presswood. I'm here, sir. Thank you. Our City Attorney, T.J. Rohr. I'm here. Thank you. Our City Court, Shirley Cannon. Okay. Finance Director, Donna Bean. Here. Thank you. Fire Chief, Ken Hare. I'm here. Thank you. Economic Development Main Street Director, Kaylin Horn. I'm here. Thank you. Rec Parks and Recreation Director, Kenny Story. I'm here. Our Public Utilities Director, Radford Thomas. Here. Planning Director, Jenny Willock. I'm here. Thank you. And our Public Works Director, Jared Wright. I'm here. Thank you. Is uh, someone from the news topic with us this evening? Kara. Kara. Thank you. Kara's with us. Welcome, Kara. Okay. Did I leave anybody out? Thank you. Okay. We will move on then. As, uh, as we normally do, we'll start with a moment of silence. We'll remain standing for our Pledge of Allegiance. As we go to that time, please continue to keep all of our health care workers, doctors, nurses, our frontline workers, those that are dealing every day with this COVID pandemic that we've been going through, our vaccine clinic people and all they're doing to, uh, to bring us uh, up on where we want to be on this as soon as we can. Thank you for all that you're doing. We keep you in our thoughts and prayers. Of course, our teachers and uh, all those in our school system, thank you for all you're doing on that and all the leaders around the state and the country for what you're trying to do to, to put us through this. So thank you all. We will keep you in our thoughts and prayers as we move forward. Anyone else that you, anybody know on that we need to keep in our thoughts and prayers before we go to that time? Okay, hearing no one, please rise and remain standing for our pledge. Thank you. We salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We'll get started tonight. We do not have matters scheduled for a public hearing this evening, so we'll move into our consent agenda items, which consist of minutes of our City Council meeting for Tuesday, February 16th, 2021. Item B would be an agreement. This is a grant contract number RTP 2021-9792. This is for a recreational trails program grant to the North Carolina Department of Cultural and Natural Resources. This agreement, as I stated, uh, the number between the City of Lenore and the North Carolina Department of Cultural and Natural Resources for the purpose of accepting grant funding in the amount of $250,000 for the city OVNHT Greenway Link project. 
And item C is a budget amendment. This is for Craft Master Furniture. Approval of this amendment in the amount of $500,000 for the building reuse grant for Craft Master Furniture in order to allow for the receipt and expenditure of these funds. That is our consent agenda items A through C. If anyone would like to discuss any of those, if not, I will entertain a motion concerning those. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to accept the consent agenda items A through C as presented. I have a motion from Council Member Stevens to accept the consent agenda items A, B, and C as presented. Is there any other questions or thoughts? If not, I'll call for the question. All in favor, please say aye. 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 And on Zoom. Aye. Aye. Thank you. That carries unanimously. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll move on then. Is a time on our agenda for any requests and petitions of any citizens. If there's any citizens who would like to address us tonight, we would entertain that at this time. If you will, come to the podium and give us your name and address, if you will. Wayne Douglas, I own the residential property at 308 Ridge Street. Okay, thank you, I Mr. Douglas. Some, I have some more reading for all of you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being with us this evening. We will take this under consideration. Okay, is there anyone else who would like to address the council at this time? Either everyone else here is business with us tonight and anybody on Zoom would have any statement for that. Okay, thank you. We'll move on then to reports of boards and commissions. And tonight we have uh, Mr. Rick Oxford, the plan administrator for the Western Piedmont Council of Governments, here to hold his first of two public meetings to receive comments regarding the proposed FY 2021 action plan for the City of Lenore and the Unifor Home Consortium as part of the five-year consolidated plan. And this plan is required by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development outlines goals and actions plans of the city of Lenore and the Unifor Home Consortium and its use of community development block grants as CD, BG, and home funds for the fiscal year of 2021 beginning July 1st of 2021 and ending June 30th, 2022. The city of Lenore serves as the lead entity for the Unifor Consortium. Rick, welcome. Glad to have you with us tonight. Thank you, Mayor. Members of the council, good to see you wherever you are. <laughs> Uh, the city of Lenore uh, has entitlement status uh, by HUD and receives CDBG funds for carrying out community development activities as described in the consolidated plan. The Unifor Consortium is comprised of 28 member local governments within and including Alexander, Burke, Caldwell, and Catawba counties. City of Lenore, as the mayor said, serves as the lead entity for the Unifor Consortium. And the Unifor Consortium receives entitlement funds and has entitlement status from HUD. Uh, and will receive uh, home funds for carrying out affordable housing activities as described by the consolidated plan. So each year we do an action plan. Last year we did the consolidated plan and it's a five year plan. And then we do a, a action plan each subsequent year. So this will be the action plan for 2021. And I just received the allocation amounts that HUD will provide the city. That is unless they change it and they did change it last year. So it looks like the city will receive $161,762 in CDBG funds. And the Unifor Consortium will receive $1,154,095 in home funds. 
So let me talk about CDBG first. Uh, we've been using our present CDBG allocation for uh, work on the Greenway with uh, Jared and also with uh, work on the Lenore, old Lenore High School uh, with uh, Kenny. And uh, those projects are moving along. Um, we, we anticipate that this year's money we will continue on with our last project, which was the old Lenore High School. We've still got work to do there. So that's where the CDBG money will more than likely be spent. Um, we've also received CDBG CV money, which coronavirus funds, <clears throat> and the city has contracted uh, with a Yoke Fellow to, to spend those funds in, uh, in providing water and sewer relief to City of Lenore residents and also for rent slash, slash mortgage relief for City of Lenore residents. <clears throat> uh, thus far, the city has spent $22,591 uh, to help people with their water and sewer bills, water, sewer, and solid waste bills. And that's assisted 94 households, covering a total of 390 months. So we can pay for so many months that people are behind. And that's assisted uh, 234 individuals. <clears throat> We've also spent $71,000 uh, for assisting people that are behind on their rent and mortgage. And this has assisted 60 households uh, covering 182 months for a shelter for 165 individuals. So that portion is, is moving along well. And we, we're not sure, but we're, we're hopeful that the city will receive additional funding for that as well. But we haven't been notified of that yet. The home program uh, covers four counties. And let me just give you a little highlight of what we've done since the program started, okay? So the program started in 1995. Uh, it was, uh, we brought all 28 local governments in the region together. Uh, we chose the city of Lenore to be the lead entity, or they volunteered. I'm not sure what it was, but they've done a. We couldn't ask for a better partner in that. Uh, we've provided uh, grants under the Home Investment Partnership <coughs> Act through uh, the U.S. Housing uh, and Urban Development HUD, and a total of $24 million. $24.6 million has been allocated and more than $5.2 million in program income has been received. So we help people through loans, we help multifamily uh, developers through loans, and then they pay us back some, and so then we recycle that money as well. So <clears throat> the purpose of the Unit 4 Consortium is to plan and carry out regional housing activities to benefit low to moderate income beneficiaries. Uh, in, in the past, down payment assistance for first time home buyers has been our number one activity. And since the program's inception, we've helped approximately 3,000 first time home buyers throughout the region. Uh, the program has used $18.5 million in down payment assistance funds to leverage more than $250 million toward the purchase of homes. Another program that we, uh, or another activity that the home program does is it provides funds to community housing development organizations, CHODOs, 
These are nonprofit organizations that do housing related activities to benefit low to moderate income families. Examples would be Habitats or Blue Ridge Community Action or Family Care Center. We've, over the years, we've done a lot of different nonprofits or assisted a lot of different nonprofits. Uh, since the program's inception, we've allocated over $5 million to 14 different organizations. We also assist multifamily housing developers, uh, such as the one at the beginning of the Abington Road, Arbor Glen. Uh, those developers seek low-income housing tax credit loans from the North Carolina Housing Finance Agency, and they will come to us and they'll ask for some a letter of commitment, local commitment that they show as part of their application, which makes their application more attractive to the Housing Finance Agency. So we're a little piece of the, the big financial uh, package. It might be a $8 million, $9 million project, and we provide 300000 So, um, <clears throat> So during the program's history, we provided assistance to 20 different multifamily housing projects located throughout the four counties, uh, approximately $5.3 million in home funds have been allocated with more than $145 million in total investment. And this has led to the development of 1,225 housing units, including 380 senior units. Hard to talk with this mask on. <laughs> Run out of air. And uh, so. That's all one breath. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back. Yeah, you got to breathe in between there. Yeah, I'll be back with uh, the second round of this, which will be a public hearing. And, and at that time, I'll be uh, having the, the numbers. Hopefully, they'll be the correct numbers from HUD, and we'll have a budget for you. Thank you. Any? Any questions Any of questions. anyone for Rick concerning the... Mayor, Mayor this is Todd. I have a quick question. Okay. Um, the amount of funding proposed for 21, Rick, how does that compare to what was actually funded for fiscal year 2020? Uh, we're up a for little the, uh, bit. City, for CDBG funding. For CDBG, uh, it's, it's 161 dollars $161,762. Now I'm pretty sure it's like 149 last year. for last year. So it, okay. it is up a little bit. And the home program is up a little bit. That's good. Yeah. And Rick, I'm sorry I'm not there. It's the first time in 18 years I've missed your spring visit. Dang, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rick, I have a question. Yeah. Um, and you probably don't know the answer, but you may have some inklings with this new COVID package coming down. Of course, you've got some of those COVID relief funds coming. Is there any idea that maybe some of those money is going to trickle down again uh, through this big relief package? I'm, I'm hearing that we'll get another round of funding like we, we've gotten two. Right, right. And so... For, for things like water bills and stuff yep. like that. Is that's where it is. But, uh, you know, nobody can promise. No, no, no. Anything. I'm just, just curious. That, if... That's sort of what I'm hearing. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions for Rick? Thank you, Rick. We appreciate you okay. uh, always being with us and okay. uh, my pleasure bringing us up to date on all that. Tell them we'll take any more money if they'd like to. Okay. All right. Please open that up. I'll, I'll let I'll let them know. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Okay. See you. All right. We'll move on then to uh, time for the report and recommendations of our city manager, Mr. Hildebrand. Mr. Mayor, Council, a couple items tonight for information purposes. The uh, City County Service Committee will meet virtually on Monday, March 8th at noon. The uh, Caldwell County EDC will meet virtually, I guess, Tuesday, March 9th at 8 a.m. Is that correct? Yes. And also the ABC Board will meet virtually on Thursday, March 11th at 2 p.m. 
and Lenore Business Advisory Board will meet virtually on Thursday, March 11th at 6 p.m. Uh, tonight, we have two items for a decision for council to consider. Uh, the first item tonight is a change order number one for the meter sys uh, AMI implementation project. Uh, this change order is amount of $292,489. Due to various circumstances, uh, we had an underestimation of the number of meters in our system. Uh, based on an accurate count now, we need to install additional 500 meters. And the cost uh, of that, as I mentioned, is uh, $292,489. And that falls within our contingency we had of $298,000. 225 and if council would approve that then Radford will purchase those meters and get those installed and uh, Mr. Thomas is on the phone tonight he can answer any specific questions you may have toward the project but we're probably Radford about 70 percent installed is that correct Mr. Thomas uh, yeah that's, that's correct we're about 70 75 percent installed Right for that, that lead, if I may ask a question. Yes. Um, so this, this change order or this, this uh, yeah, this change order pretty much eats up the contingency that we allowed in the initial proposal. Do you, I mean, nobody's got a crystal ball, but um, my question is, do you think with that eating up all the contingency, are you comfortable with that? Do we need to have any kind of a budget amendment to allow for even more contingency funding? Yeah, that's a good question. I appreciate that. Um, I, I don't think so. Um, I, I feel like at this point, uh, this should pretty well cover um, the things that we need to purchase through the agreement. I don't, I don't see that we need to, but as you said, we don't have a crystal ball. Uh, but I, I really don't anticipate having to come back and uh, ask for any additional funds. I, I surely hope not. And we're gonna we're gonna work on that. We've done a few things to uh, cost saving measures too um, that should speed up the project, but also save us a little bit of money. And I would note this project was 4.4 million mm -hmm. uh, total cost. Okay. Any other questions of uh, concerning this change order before we go to call for question here in a few minutes? I have a question, if you don't mind. Um, yes, sir related to the change order but i've had uh, several neighbors this week approach me about water bills that were um apparently incorrect because they had uh, received a water bill that was maybe five times larger than typical when that happens it's most likely an installation or uh you know computer problem of some kind should residents call the water department directly to discuss the issue Yes. Okay. Yes. Because um, that's what I told them, and I think citywide, we, you know, there's always going to be some issue somewhere. So, just thought I'd clarify that. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions or comments? If not, you heard the uh, uh, recommendation for change order number one for meter sys approval of a change order. And this is change order number one in amount of two hundred ninety-two thousand four hundred eighty-nine dollars for the AMI implementation project for meter assist. So I'll present that to you, call for a council to, for recommendation. Mr. Mayor, I make a motion we approve change order number one as presented. Thank you, I have a motion from council member Bill to approve change order number one as presented in this amount. No other question, discussion or question, all in favor please say aye. 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 And on, on the phone. Aye. Aye. Is that all? Chris E. Is there or something? Where's she gone? We got a thumbs up. She, she's doing this. So she okay. <laughs> we got a vote for it. Okay. Thank you. That carries unanimously. We appreciate that. So, all right, Mr. Hildebrand, we'll move on to your second resolution here. The next item is the authorizing resolution for Project Explode. Uh, the city's been working with Deborah Murray and the Economic Development Commission regarding the project. Um, called Project Explode. Uh, this would go back and assist the expansion of a manufacturing company in Lenore. Uh, they would invest over $2.2 .2 million in the purchase of a building and also renovations and expect to add 50 full-time jobs over a two-year period. The jobs would, uh, average wage would be over $44,000, which exceeds our median um, average private sector wage. Um, I can't hear you. 
A little, bit, a little bit louder. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give me COVID. Um, but again, this project, you can, I can hear myself now, actually. I'm not, not ringing in my head. But again, this is a Project Explode. I would go back, a local company, would manufacturing company would go back and invest $2.2 million in the purchase of a building and renovations and expects to add 50 full-time jobs at a, over a two-year period with a wage of $44,000, which exceeds our median private sector wage. Um, I would say this is a $500,000 request of NC Commerce, and uh, Ms. Murray's here tonight if she wants to go back and add any additional comments for that. But um, hopefully you'll support this, and we'll get some funding and get more jobs in Lenore and Caldwell County. Sounds like a great thing. Uh, Deborah. welcome. Thank you. Glad you're with us tonight. I don't know anything you'd like to add, or we won't put you on the spot. You're welcome to. Always when uh, you're here, we love to hear from you with anything that's going on. Deborah, can you take this off, please? Okay. <laughs> so you don't faint. <laughs> so I don't run out of air. You know that's not possible. <laughs> I had to be the one to say that. <laughs> uh, we're excited about this project, and it's part of a much larger pot project. Uh, this particular portion uh, has been fast-tracking and growing. Uh, as each week has passed, we're on, for the purposes of this grant, it will be a $10.2 million investment, and it will include the purchase of an additional building that will be renovated as part of the Building Reuse Grant Program. Uh, we expect that award to be made April 15th. Um, if it is made, it's a competitive grant. Uh, and uh, this does, over a two-year period, uh, give us a pledge of 50 new jobs uh, in our area and like I said it is part of a larger project so uh, there's much more to come when you say it's part of a larger project for our area it's part of the company's larger expansion project we're just focused here on the building reuse portion Thank you. okay next week the county will hear the local jobs incentive public hearing and there will be a little bit more information about the broader project at that time and that will meet the match we're required to have for the bill reuse grant. That's right. That's where the 5% match comes from. And the company is aware that uh, we now require uh, deed of trust for this. So we're all uh, ready to go. Good. Thank you very much. Well, it's Thank always you. exciting to have uh, new projects coming to us. And uh, so we really appreciate, appreciate your work on it. I know it's probably been a lot, a lot of things going on that you've had to do behind that but thank you for that so thank you. you've heard the uh authorizing resolution presented for project explode i will now turn it over to council uh, first of all, is there, are there any other questions i'm going to do that if not then i'll turn it to council for a recommendation please mr mayor i recommend we uh approve the um the authorizing the, resolution the authorizing resolution as presented <laughs> <laughs> we have a motion from uh, Council Member Willis to uh, approve the authorizing resolution for Project Explode as presented. And I will ask call for the question. All in favor, please say aye. 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 And on the phone. Aye. 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 Thank you very much. We appreciate that. That carries unanimously. Thank you, Deborah. You are with us a few minutes. Is there any other things that you that would like to talk about or bring up or things going on? You're welcome to if you want to do that. Nothing I can tell you today. Okay. <laughs> what that tells us is there's good things still coming out there. That's right. How many things can okay. you tell us about? Thank you for that. Thank you for being with us this evening <laughs> on that. So thank you. Anything else, Mr. Hildebrand? Come. That's all. All right. Any reports and recommendations from our city attorney, Mr. Rohr? No, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And I do have a quick, uh, just to let you know about a couple of appointments that will be uh, reappointments that will be coming up and uh, we will put these to you for your consideration uh, for our uh, board of adjustments we have three that have been serving on our board of adjustments as you know that is also planning board members that serve on that uh, for terms uh, on that for reappointment we'll be considering at our March 16th meeting Mr. James Bradshaw Mr. Mac Martin and Mr. Tim Scobie and I've been in I'll be in touch with him have been in touch with him talking about their uh, consideration of reappointment for this uh, uh, board. So we'll bring you that on March the 16th. Just want to bring that to you for your uh, consideration at this time. 
All right, and that's all I have at this point in time out of the mayor's office. Anything from any of our council members to come before us tonight? Uh, Mr. Mayor, yes. real quickly, I'd, I'd like to, to say that uh, in regards to the fire that we had last week at Whitnell, that uh, we really should thank the other fire stations, fire departments in the county that backfilled our stations and came out to as mutual aid to help on that uh, fire. Also our police and our public works and our water department because all those folks helped out to make that situation, you know, have a really good outcome. But uh, that was one example of how this whole county comes together at the right times. And also uh, all of our departments within the city are so critical when things like that happen. Without the water department being on the spot, you know, the fire department would have a tough time. So I'd just like to say thank you, and I think I can speak for, for everybody. And Chief Hare, uh, we appreciate your guys and appreciate uh, how well you work with all the other departments. Thank you very much, Councilmember Bill. We appreciate that. As usual, uh, they did a wonderful job. I've talked with Chief Hare about it and some others, and uh, it was uh, there's been some great um, comments from those who were involved with the buildings out there, thanking them for things that that they did. I even understand they saved some appointment books uh, for the people in the uh, uh, beauty salon to keep that would certainly keep them at least knowing what their appointments are as they move forward. So we we appreciate that and. Uh, all of y'all that were involved uh, on that, we certainly appreciate it. Chief Harry, anything you would like to add while we have it? Absolutely, just want to reiterate what uh, Councilman Bell said is a uh, huge thank you to, to our staff uh, citywide. Our firefighters have done a wonderful job uh, making sure that some of that building is still intact. Uh, but like I said, you know, we had pretty much almost all the departments from the city, public works, public utilities, PD, Call County Sheriff's Department was there. Uh, we actually had Hudson Fire, North Carolina Fire, and Gamble Fire come to the scene, and then Kings Creek and Valmead and some of those back to our stations called pretty much all our staff was tied up for about the next seven hours. Uh, so a huge thank you to On Ball. Uh, actually got the Colorado County Emergency Management come and actually helped suppress some fire. Um, so it was uh, all around good effort to the whole county, but especially our city staff. And a huge thank you to all them and, and the support we get from the council and uh, Mr. Hildebrand uh, for letting us do our jobs and getting us the right equipment to do that with. Uh, certainly uh, do appreciate that from all our staff. Thank you. We appreciate it. Appreciate all you do and all of our staff for all you, how you work together. It's uh, definitely uh, part of what we uh, preach every day in service beyond measure and working together to make things happen in the best way. So thank you for, for that. Any other department heads, do you have anything that you might want to bring up? Any announcements quickly before we Adjourn here in the next five or six minutes. All right. I'm not hearing anybody, so uh, we'll keep you posted on all the things that are going on. Thank you again for being with us tonight. And if nothing else to come before us, we stand adjourned. <laughs>